Have you used lockdown to clear out your closet but still got the bags sitting in your room or in your car and you just keep forgetting about them? Aussie households can now have their unwanted old clothes, shoes and textiles picked up from home at a desired time convenient to them or to be recycled and reused and reduce landfill. The streamlined self-service collection service has been launched by leading parcel delivery service Couriers Please and sustainable sock company Manrags. Here to tell us more is the Chief Commercial Officer at Couriers Please, Paul Roper. Good morning to you, Paul. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. Now, tell us a little bit about this initiative because this is not only helpful for people trying to clear out their closets, this is helpful for the environment. Tell us why. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, we... Um we developed this Boomerang product um, in April to really support uh, e-tailers and retailers in terms of their returns. <clears throat> but we also sort of saw that this was a potential opportunity to support green initiatives. And we'd seen Michael Elias from Man Rags, who was very passionate about recycling, reusing, repurposing. And we thought this really looks like a, a great partnership where we could help support them because um, we, we really were on a pathway to sort of improving our green credentials as well. Uh, so we sort of formed an alliance and um, yeah, it's been fantastic. I mean, the response to, the, to their sort of recycling program has been in, enormous. I think in, in the first six weeks of, of COVID, they, they recycled about uh, 20,000 kilos of, of unwanted textiles. Uh, and even since we, we've done this partnership with them, we've um, collected about 5,000 kilos of unwanted textiles within about 10 days. So, so when you're saying textiles, you're meaning socks, unwanted clothes, things from people's cupboards. That's absolutely right. Mm. So, so it's basically any unwanted clothes. It could be bedding, it could be clothes, shoes, etc. No jocks. Um, <laughs> socks, of co socks, of course. I mean, that's dear to their heart. Yes. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, what happens is, is this material sort of goes back to op shops or, or charities. But, but the, these companies spend about $13 million a year getting rid of it because mm. they can't use it. So, so man rags are really doing a, a fully, um, they're basically sorting it for everybody um, so that you know, it can be either resold or repurposed or, or recycled. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a great initiative. So, I mean, what are, what are you guys sort of seeking to achieve with the overall initiative? Because you came into it to sort of assist something that man rags were already putting in place. What's the role that you've had? So for, for us, we're, we're on a pathway to sort of become a carbon neutral transporter, uh, which is easier said than done, you know, when you're running a fleet of vehicles. Mm. Um, so, so we're sort of running a number of different initiatives. Um, and one of them is, is, is being carbon neutral or being involved in a carbon offset plan. So this year with the CRI, um, we actually sort of did a full audit of what our carbon footprint was. And we're on a five year journey to actually become carbon neutral. So this is just part of that. But we, we really see that within, well, the target that we've set ourselves jointly mm. is to reduce half a million kilos of, of, of greenhouse emissions by 2022. So that's a big, big number for us. Huge, and that yeah. really helps our overall goal of becoming a carbon neutral company. So what other sustainability measures do you put in place then from a business point of view to help you meet those targets? So we, we're actually just about to launch a new recycled uh, driver uniform, which I think is unique in the, oh. in the market. So, so our driver shirts are going to be made from fully recyclable PET plastics, which is a first. Uh, we're just about to launch our new uh, satchel, which is going to be made of 80% recycled material. Um, and we're looking at a whole number of other, other aspects as well. We've also got the man rag bins in our own depots. So when our drivers recycle their uniforms, uh, we've got 18 of these bins across the country. They put them in the, in the bins and then we've, we've got our own staff sort of actually doing recycling as well. So, so I think this is really key. And then look in, into the future, clearly electric vehicles in CBD locations. Mm. Um, we're looking to reduce our carbon footprint in terms of driver runs. So right. how do we use sort of micro hubs and move closer to the market so there's less, mm. less emissions, but backwards and forwards between the depots. There's about a num number of strands that we're working on. It's amazing, isn't it? And I mean, tell, tell us a little bit about Couriers Please during COVID as well, because obviously we've seen e-commerce just go ballistic. We've had a huge increase in online shopping. Yeah. Australia Post released some recent data saying there was 200,000 new addresses that they yeah. delivered to in the first month of COVID alone. How's that affected Couriers Please in yeah. your business? It's, it's been extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, um, 
we really couldn't believe the upswing of, of volume. And we've seen probably a 60% increase over the last three months. Mm. Um, and, and our drivers are working around the clock trying to, to punch out um, deliveries. So it's, it's been an extraordinary um, you know, few months. And you know, normally you have a peak period that, ru that runs from October through to December. This is like peak on acid. I mean, yeah. it's, it's just extraordinary. So, so we, we're working on a number of different plans in terms of crowdsourcing. Um, and working with some other partners just to help us with the flex mm -hmm. uh, as those volumes come through. Um, but it's an extraordinary time. But what we've seen as well is, is after the initial peak, we've actually seen those, those volumes maintaining. So we, you know, it's an overused expression about new normal, yes. but, but we really are seeing that as new normal and, and the, um, this, is, this is what it is going forward. It's, it's been extraordinary. Well, it sounds like you're doing some amazing things in the sustainability space and certainly something that more businesses are looking at. If people want to get involved in the Man Rags initiative with you guys and help yep. donate some unwanted textiles or old clothes, how can they do that? Okay, so all they need to do is go to Man Rags website, manrags.com.au um, and then Basically, just click on return textiles, and for twenty-five dollars, they can actually have up to ten kilos of, of textiles collected from their door by a courier's oh, please. Yeah, so I'll be doing it this yeah, afternoon, exactly. Paul. <laughs> so it's very, very convenient, very simple, um, and for that as well, they'll get a twenty-five, uh, twenty-five dollar discount to spend on the Man Rags uh, website. So that's a real kicker as well, um, and then yeah, very convenient, contactless pickup. Um, and you'll be doing your bit for the environment. Oh, well done to you guys. A fantastic initiative. All the best. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you very much.